Welcome to our FTP lab. So we're going to back up a router file using the FTP protocol. So I'll just drag up a, what's this, an 1841, as usual most models will do. A server which we will enable FTP on, this can be our FTP server. Um, crossover cable. And we'll uh, add an IP address on here, so obviously the IP traffic can pass. I'll put the uh, router as the default gateway. So we'll obviously need an IP configuration on the uh, uh, router side. This will be 192.168.1.1. And then they shut the interface. We'll ping across the link. And that's all working nicely. Alright, so we scroll down and look at what we need to do here. So we, we need to run this command copy run start. This changes or copies what our running configuration is into a start configuration. This is what, this is what the router will interrogate for when it, when it reboots. And um, it's obviously a very good idea to save your configurations. You can have 20, 30, 40 lines. We'll go to the server and enable FTP. In fact, it's turned on. We'll create a username of 101 labs and a password of hello. And we'll tick all of the boxes here, read, write, delete, rename and list, and add that. So we've got another uh, account here that uh, they can FTP, or a device can FTP to. We'll need to add the uh, username and password from the uh, router side. IP FTP, a username. It's 101 labs. IP FTP password. Hello, so this is how it's going to authenticate with the FTP server or, or, or get um, an agreement to send the traffic. There's no encryption in this particular lab. All right, so copy startup config to FTP and press enter. The destination file name, you can leave it as the default file name or you can change it. Just bear in mind when the router boots, it is looking for a file called router-confg. Okay, a tiny file, so it was copied very quickly. And I'll just come out of this window and back just so it refreshes the screen and you can see our config is copied over. So that's proved off the lab. Thanks for watching.